Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from Land Microdic Configuration Series. Today's topic is about configuring OpenVPN in Microdic Router. In this video, I'll show you how to configure OpenVPN in Microdic Router and how a remote user can log into head of his VPN server and work from remote location. OpenVPN is just like other types of VPN service like PPTP, LTTP, OS, TP. This OpenVPN can be used for site-to-site -side VPN or, and also can be configured as VPN server client model where a remote user can access to head office network by connecting to VPN server. OpenVPN has complete security features so it is safer than other types of VPN. In this video, we will see the OpenVPN server client model where remote user connect to head office network by OpenVPN client software from Windows PC. For PPTP and L2TP, there are built-in VPN client apps available on Windows. But for OpenVPN, we have to use third-party application. Let me show you the diagram. This is our lab scenario. This is the OpenVPN server in head office. This is the local block here. 192.168.1.0/24, and this is the remote user who will connect to head office by OpenVPN tunnel and get the same address range from this local block. Okay, OpenVPN server and client configuration requires SSL certificate for secure communication. Microdic Router OS version 6 gives ability to create, store, and manage certificate in certificate store. So we will create OpenVPN certificate from our router OS. Okay, we need three types of certificate for OpenVPN server and client configuration CA certificate, server certificate, and client certificate. Okay, let me log into my, my router. First, we will create CA certificate. To this, we have to go to the system and then to the certificate. We're gonna click plus sign to add in the name. CA and common name. These are two parameters are important, so we have to put it. And in the key uses tab, we'll keep only serial sign and key chart sign. Click apply and then click sign button. In the CA serial post. This is our server address. Okay, click start. Now sign certificate is created for CA. Now we'll create server certificate. Click plus sign to add. In the name of server. Common name is server. And the key is this. We'll keep the digital signature, key and cipher mapped, check this, and TL server. Click apply. I'll click the sign button. C is CA. And click start. We'll sign certificate is created. Now see if you see this trusted value is no. Double click on it. Click on the general tab. Click in the trusted here. Click apply and OK. Now the final part is to create client certificate. Assign to add. Common name is client. Click at the key user step. And here we'll take this TLS client only. Apply and the sign. See, see. Okay, our sign certificate is done for client. Now we will export CA and client certificate so that OpenVPN client can use this certificate. OpenVPN server will use server certificate from Microdic Router or certificate store, but client certificate has to supply to the OpenVPN client. So we need to export client certificate and CA certificate from router OS certificate store. So double click on the CA in the general, click on the export button, click export. This file now stored in microdic file section. OK, 
okay now we will click on export again now from the drop down here we will select client and in the export passphrase we will give a password password must be 8 character long and this password has to provide when open VPN client needs to connect I'll give just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Click export. Okay, now we check from the file section. On the left pan, click on files. You see three files has been created. And two is certificate file and one is key file. Okay, now copy those three. Click on this button to copy. Now in my desktop. I have a folder name certificate, I'll just paste it here. Okay, now we go back to the router. Now we'll go to the PPP menu. And from the interface tab, we'll click on the OVPN server. In here, we have to select the certificate as server. This requires client certificate, okay. For authentication, we will select only SHA-1. For Cypher, we will select AES-256. Microtik router supports OpenVPN with TCP port 1194. Now tick this box to enable the service. Apply and OK. Now we have to create a user and password for remote user. To do this, we have to go to the secret tab. Assign to add. Type a username for the remote user. Anything you can type. So what I gave is test service OVPN and the local address is of server address 192.168. A. This is the local address. This one. And the remote address 1.168. When the user will connect as OVPN. He will get this IP from the server. Lion, okay. okay. Now to set up OpenVPN client, we need to download third-party application. As there is no OpenVPN client apps available on Windows operating system like AltDP or PPTP. You will go to the browser, type OpenVPN dot for the community and then to the downloads. Check for the file. Okay, I'm using Windows 10, so I will download this one. Okay, our download is completed. Just click on here. We're going to install the software now. Click install. Our installation is done. Click next. Check this box. Okay, this application will help us to connect with OpenVPN server. Now we'll have to enter the OpenVPN folder on here click the seed wipe program files here open vpn but now we have to enter the config folder now click on the certificate and the file that we have created copy it and paste it in the config folder to continue okay i will rename it now This one is the client key. Okay, now we have to create a file with .ovpn extension. I've already opened it here on my notepad plus. I'll share the text file with templates if anyone needs. Just comment in my video. Okay, in here you say in the remote section we will specify our server address 192.168.137.2 which is this one and port is 1194 okay now we'll save it as dot ovpn name is client dot ovpn the desktop okay save this one copy it and then paste it on the config Folder. 
if I go down the bottom line, you can see I have a specified auth user pass secret, which means our user and password authentication should be stored in a file called secret. So we'll have to make this secret file now. Okay. Click new. Our user is OVPN. Password is test that we specified in the secret tab on the micro recover. This one. Okay. We will save it as secret. Let's copy it here. And we'll have to test it on the config folder. This username and password will be used to dial the VPN server. We have to save this file without any extension. To do this, we will have to right click on here and the rename. And then we add extensions. Enter. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. If you don't see this extension in your folder, you can do this click on the view and just tick this box show the extension if i uncheck this one you see there is no extension so just tick this box to see the extension now we'll click on the start menu click on the open vpn gui now click on the icon tray on the taskbar right click on it and click connect it will ask to put your client certificate password that you have given during client certificate export, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click OK. Okay, you can see client is now connected. The sign IP is 192.168.1.241. This is our open VPN GUI for Windows. Okay. Now what we can do is we can check from our micro router and see from the active connections you see our user is connected to vpn and the user got the ip address that we have specified 192.168.1.241 so you can configure open vpn server on micro router and also you can configure open vpn client on windows pc that's all for today. Do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.